guys Noel here and it is Wednesday we got a day off of school it's the day before Thanksgiving so I thought it would be fun to do a video game review for the video game section of the YouTube channel these relax me they're fun to do and you seem to enjoy them so let's do another one uh, today we are going to be reviewing uh, one of my favorite Sega Saturn games the game I had when I was growing up and a game that I associate with the Thanksgiving Day Parade because my favorite balloon in the Thanksgiving Day Parade is the one and only Sonic the Hedgehog. So today, what we're going to be re doing is reviewing Sonic's debut game for the Sega Saturn. Quite possibly my favorite Sega console. We are going to be reviewing Sonic 3D Blast, a game that came out instead of Sonic Extreme, which was in development for the Sega Saturn as well as the Sega 32X. Um, and that never came to fruition. So what Sega did was they ported over Sonic 3D Blast uh, from the Sega Genesis to the Sega Saturn and released the Sega Genesis version and a Sega Saturn version of Sonic 3D Blast because, once again, Sonic Extreme uh, never actually made it to be a video game. It instead became a uh, Walkman and book by Troll for elementary school kids. Um, let's take a look at this game and play some uh, of this game right now. Give you a... Uh, taste of some of the gameplay here now unlike the sega genesis version of this game uh these levels are uh, a lot more detailed with a lot more uh atmospheric effects and when i say atmospheric effects i mean literally uh weather detail um and also a cd soundtrack uh is present in this game you can pop this game into your cd player and listen to the very nice soundtrack to it uh, this game also features a special stage made by Sonic Team, who was uh, busy making Nights into Dreams. I was always puzzled by the fact that uh, Sonic Team did not work directly on this game. I understand that uh, they'd been making a lot of Sonic games and wanted to do something new, but uh, this, is a, this is, again, emblematic of Sega of Japan and Sega of America not being coordinated. Sonic the Hedgehog uh, was one of the most popular... Uh, characters on the planet and was Sega's official mascot and rivaled Mario in terms of popularity. So the fact that Sega did not have their best programmers working on a Sonic the Hedgehog game at launch of the Sega Saturn uh, is a huge missed opportunity. Um, but nevertheless, this game uh, was developed by Traveler's Tales, a uh, England-based company with the help of Sonic uh, Team from Japan. Um, and right now we're going to see a clip of my favorite level, Diamond Dust, and I actually listen to this level's music when I decorate for Christmas, and I just want to get into a holiday mood. Um, it is a fantastic looking snow level. Um, the gameplay of this game is a bit different from your typical uh, Sonic the Hedgehog game in two dimensions, and even in three dimensions. Uh, Rather than uh, speeding uh, to your um, side as you would in a two-dimensional Sonic game or just kind of haphazardly running all over the place uh, as in a 3D Sonic game, uh, you have an uh, open environment, but you have Sonic moving uh, f on a little bit more methodical pace here as he needs to rescue the Flicky birds from the uh, Sega arcade game Flicky, uh, who have been uh, now put into... Uh, Robot Bodies by Dr. Robotnik or Dr. Eggman, depending on whatever you want to call them. But I love this level. It's very, it's very um, kind of warm, Christmassy atmosphere. Uh, makes me really get into the holiday spirit. Let's now start to play some uh, Sonic 3D Blast for the Sega Saturn. And uh, you will get to see the Genesis version of uh, that game pretty easily. Or you could just try to track down the Genesis cartridge. Sonic uh, does control pretty well. He does control well. He doesn't control badly. Um, but it is a different feel for how to control Sonic here. So if I go here, I get an extra life. Boing. You can get a shield. Now, the way you rescue the Flickies is you literally have to track down all of the uh, so-called badniks. And uh, then once you do that, you hop on them. The Flicky pops out of them. 
you the flickies will follow you and you will find a magic ring as soon as I knock this guy here hang on to deposit the flickies in and you have a little counter at the bottom of the screen to tell you how many flickies in the area you have rescued uh, and once all those robots turn into flickies you are able to uh, move on to the next part of the stage here So here's our ring. Oop. Man. There we go. One more to find. Let's get a shield here. Very nice soothing music playing here. Woo. There was my shield. Again, Sonic is um, um, a, a 3D modeled uh, sprite here. He So it's basically you're using... Uh, 2D sprite-based technology in a 3D environment to get a very uh, highly detailed picture um, as opposed to doing straight polygonal graphics um, which uh, really kind of became the norm at the time um, now I have 68 rings so I have to be careful here because if I can find tails we can go to the special stage here but if I lose those rings I won't have the 50 rings necessary to get to the special stage so I just gotta kind of be careful here to find tails. He's hiding out down here. Yep, there he is. So now tails will fly me to the special stage, which was made by Sonic Team, exclusive to the Sega Saturn. And for those who say that Sega Saturn cannot do uh, polygonal 3D graphics well, I ask you just sit back and watch this special stage. So now the uh, Sonic Extreme that is being developed right now by a fan um, uses this Sonic model as opposed to... Uh, a uh, 3D sprite based one which is what the actual developers of Sonic Team and uh, Sega of America at the Sega Technical Institute were using. So you basically have to get a set amount of rings before the checkpoint. This game features seven levels and a final boss. Sonic giving us his sassy stare. This game is very fun to play. Just be careful not to hit those spikes. Obviously, these will get more challenging as they go along. And we now have our Chaos Emerald. Gimme, gimme, gimme. One more flicky. Where are you? Show me where you are. Man, this music is very well composed. I bet he's around here. Yep, there he is. Get some Sonic shoes. Wee! And that, my friends, is the first act. Of Sonic 3D Blast for the Sega Saturn. That is Sonic 3D Blast for the Sega Saturn. I highly recommend getting this game. Uh, if you like Sega Saturn, if you like 3D Sonic games, and if you want to try something different in terms of uh, how you're used to playing Sonic, all those would be great reasons to pick up this game. Till next time, guys, 
My name is Noel. You take care. I will see you later. Bye-bye.